Hi. Today we're going to talk about energy and the next boom, and why things are probably a lot better off than you've been thinking. The fact is, the application of advanced technologies in energy is making incredible things possible today, the same way that advanced technologies are improving a wide variety of sectors ranging from food production to healthcare to communications and information. In fact, energy today is just about unlimited. The potential for the future is just phenomenal. Let me give you a good example. A common way to measure energy usage is what's called energy intensity. That is, the amount of total energy used for a nation to produce a dollar of GDP or a unit of economic output. As you can see in these slides, energy intensity improved by about 60% in the last six decades since 1949. Looked at another way, while the U.S. economy over 60 years grew by about 600 percent, not including inflation, the energy used to move that economy ahead grew only by about 200 percent. Why is that possible? Because technologies have made everything from transportation to refrigeration to manufacturing much more efficient. A simple example at home, your refrigerator today uses about 75% less energy than it did in 1970, just through better engineering, design, insulation, better technology. Transportation, for example, it now takes about 50% less fuel to move one passenger one mile in a modern airliner than it did in 1970. And it takes about 20% less fuel to move a ton of freight in a truck one mile than it did in 1970. Several times in recent history it's been predicted that the world is running out of oil, but nothing could be further from the truth. In 1939, the U.S. Department of the Interior said that America's oil reserves would be depleted within 13 years. Obviously not true. In fact, technology is opening up more and more oil fields around the world and incredible new finds like offshore of Brazil in the Santos Basin. Vast new discoveries around the world are bringing new oil and, lately, vast quantities of natural gas to market. In fact, as recently as 2005, natural gas was thought to be in short supply. However, technology applied first in the Barnett Shale in Fort Worth, Texas, and later throughout the United States, and now to a growing extent around the world, has brought incredible new supplies of natural gas to the market and natural gas prices have plummeted by about 75%, bringing an incredible economic gift to the United States. Now the same technologies that have enabled the bounty of shale gas are now being applied to produce huge new quantities of oil from shale formations. Meanwhile, technologies are solving lots of other energy problems. For example, despite Japan's terrible nuclear disaster in March 2011, the nuclear energy industry is moving ahead in many parts of the world. In the Middle East, for instance, many new plants are about to be built using advanced technologies. In China, the country plans to move ahead from about 11 current nuclear plants to as many as 100 over the next 30 years, all based on tremendous new, incredibly safe advanced technologies like the Westinghouse AP1000 design. In fact, today's nuclear plants compared to those in Fukushima in Japan that melted down, the technology differences are so dramatic, it's like comparing a new Mercedes-Benz to a Model T Ford. There simply is no comparison. So what about renewable energy? Yes, we're making incredible strides in renewable technologies, particularly in solar cells and concentrated solar power. In fact, the per unit, per watt price of generating solar electricity has come to a very competitive level. The problem is the sun doesn't shine all the time. What we need now are great breakthroughs in storage capacity so that we can store renewable power when it is available and then use it at night, for instance, when the sun doesn't shine to provide electricity on demand. Meanwhile, America has become so efficient in the way it uses energy. 
that we're looking at only about a 1% per year increase in total energy used in the country between now and 2035, despite great growth in the population and great future growth in the economy. Energy, things are a lot better off than you've been thinking. Thanks, I'm Jack Plunkett.